Candace knows I'm getting a tattoo, but she doesn't necessarily know what I'm getting. Nervous. <laughs> show me. Yeah, I can't even show you right now. <laughs> so let me tell you guys what I'm getting. Deal, combis. Fam, as you can see, I'm getting a new tattoo. All right, so I got the itch. You know how I be. You know, sometimes you get the itch for doing whatever it is that you want to do in life. You know, when you get in that mode, you're in that mindset, it's go time, right? There's no turning back. So I'm here with my guy Dino, my most trusted tattoo artist that I've had the pleasure of working with. So we here at Edge Crib. He's hooking me up, man. If you guys are ever in the LA area, all you gotta do is check out Lifestyle Tattoos up in Carson. You got dope artists like Dino, as well as a few other guys like Clown. Hey, you, you got Martin too. He's really oh, yeah, good Martin. Artist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really good artist. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole a whole gang up in there. So check them out if you guys are ever in the area. But anyways, yeah, I'm getting a portrait. Candace knows I'm getting a tattoo, but she doesn't necessarily know what I'm getting or where I'm getting it at. I mean, she sees me just like you guys. I'm pretty sure she's wondering where the hell it's gonna be at anyway. And I have this huge canvas on my back. My back is empty and I love portraits, you know, and I really wanted another portrait. So let me tell you guys what I'm getting, all right? I'm getting the portrait of Fred Hampton. If you guys don't know about Fred Hampton, he was a uh, part of the Black Panther Party during the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s. And um, he was an incredible leader, uh, really known for being able to bring blacks and whites together peacefully. And obviously at that time you could understand why they didn't want that to happen, didn't want that to occur, you know. Um, as you can see, we're kind of still, today, still fighting things that they were fighting for. I see a lot of himself in me, you know, or I see myself, I see a lot of me in him. Someone I, I feel like I could bring large groups of people together, you know, no matter the race, you know, and get people to just vibe and be together, you know, be one race and be all. So, um, yeah, something that is a very powerful piece to me, you know, something that, you know, I, I want it on my body. So I'm all about dope pieces and pe people that move me and things that move me and things that are authentic to me. Your body's a canvas, you know, whether you want it blank or whether you want to put it with art, you know, it's all it's all your flavor. So that's what we're doing today. We just got started. It's biting. It hurt. You know, it's on the back. I don't know what people do. It really be dudes we talking about like, it don't hurt. Nah, it don't hurt, it's just uncomfortable. It's, that's what they say. You know, I, just, I, I just don't like sitting like that, it's just uncomfortable. Nah, fool, that shit hurt. <laughs> it hurt, fool. You lying. It's needles being stabbed into your body, penetrating your skin, fam. Stop it. But at the end of the day, is if you could, it's, it's a mind thing, you know? If you can block it out and make it work for yourself, then you do that. See, that's that harsh I was telling y'all, Dino be on. That's what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Dino don't play that shit. Suck, <laughs> suck that shit up. Take that shit. Eat that. Yeah, Why well, it's gonna come it's gonna come a point in this episode. I'm trying to get up and Dino gonna be like, nah, 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 nah. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes, five more minutes. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I got I got I, I get up. I walk. Five minutes seems like five hours sometimes. Man. A minute never seems so long until you did a plank, right? Average person, do a plank for a minute. A minute that minute gonna be longest. Yeah, these tattoos the same thing. Five minutes never seems so long. Until you was getting a tattoo. Just peel it in your skin. Yeah. Ink scar. So you're scarring your skin and healing with the ink in there. Crazy. Something that I think that you should do if you do get tattoos, like especially really dope ones, portraits and shit like that, when you can, and I've never done it, but I tend to at some point come back and re-hit it. Let the, let the artist come back in and touch up on the fine details, you know, because it's just like anything, you know, like someone gives you a job that you could do over three days, you know, and, they, and you, you make them do it in one. We're all going to be wishing we had a little more time to do that, you know, so yeah, I say that I haven't done it because it's like, if I go get a tattoo, I'm getting something new. The last thing I want to do is go get a tattoo <laughs> on that hurt and I look down and it's already half. So, but once I finish getting blasted, like once I'm complete, then we're gonna work our way back, touch him on up, you know? It's a lifetime journey here. And they ain't going anywhere. So we make sure they always look nice and tight. You know, as you get older, things fade, just tighten it up. So I gotta, I gotta have some of my mama. Michiana, Michelada, Michelada. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 
See the the light gives it the different what do you call it? Yeah, texture. Yeah. We had a good time with the Bob Marley. I think that was a uh, uh, that was the introduction right there. That was the introduction. That was the beginning. And they had the best one because it, it, it got them got them started. Made them a believer. Made me a believer. Yeah. <laughs> No more, no more college tattoos. Yeah, yeah, we go, we going to the lead we're now. Going the lead. <laughs> yeah, we going to the lead, dog. Hey, for real, I need people to see my on the screen and be like, oh damn, that's Bob Marley. Not like, what is that? It's a big difference. You got some of those what is that tattoos? I do too. Don't play yourself. Damn, what is my worst tattoo? I think my worst oh, tattoo. Oh, we all got some of those. I think my worst tattoo is. Um, this angel Gabriel slaying this demon. You can't even make it out, fam. Yeah, that was one of them college ones. I think it's upside down, to be honest. You gotta catch it. Mm. Yeah, I can't even show you right now. <laughs> oh, Kelly Clarkson. No, Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but the college ones are kind of the best ones. Those are your best memories, you know what I mean? No bills. No, I'm for sure. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I think that's another dope thing about tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you can't talk about one without going back to that yeah. place. You know what I'm saying? Like, you talk about, like, if someone ever asked you about the tattoo, then you want to talk, talk about yeah. where you got it at, what, yeah. who did it, who you yeah. were with, where you were living, you know what I'm saying? Who you were dating. That's tight. It's like music. <sighs> oh, hey, yo, the worst pain I ever felt in a tattoo. I got my stomach blasted. I, I said, this was some arrogant cocky. I got God's gift tatted on me. We're all God's gift. I got this in college. I got it on my stomach in my dorm room. Yo, it's hurting so bad I couldn't stop shaking. I was shaking bad, man. I was shaking really, I was shaking like a stripper. <laughs> I was shaking like a stripper and homie was like, yo, you moving too much. And the lines came out all crooked. But yo, it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. It was like, the second he touched my skin, I was like, yo, why am I doing this? <laughs> and like, it didn't get like any better, you know? And it was it was the worst, complete agony. The worst three hours of my life, you know? What kind of episode of tattoos would this be without me talking about my first tattoo, right? We gotta talk about that, right? So, uh, my first tattoo is right here, right here on the arm, the O with the crown. You know, it's like a young black kid found your first tattoo, you know, it, it can't be nothing crazy. So it's gotta be safe. Like this is how you convince, you know, your people to let you get the tattoo. Or if you do get caught with one, if you did, they didn't allow you to, this is how you explain it. You say, hey, you know, it's, it's my name is Omar. So, oh, you know, it's gonna be with me for the rest of my life, right? I, I throw a crown on it cause I think I'm a king. I think I'm, early I thought I was a king, you know? Yeah, so that was my safe haven. That was my reason for getting it. To be honest, I really just wanted some ink. I didn't know what else I wanted. It was like, what else could make sense? You know, what else could I live and die with? Right, I could live and die with an O with the crown, fam. Threw the superstar on the crown, which is crazy. But pop <laughs> Crazy. Ah, my pops and, uh, you know, coaches back in the day in high school used to call me superstar. So we threw that on the crown. It's crazy, I've been wanting to like add to it like that, but I think I gotta just leave it how it is. It's like one of those, it's like one of the pieces of art. You just don't change, it just is what it is. I got it in my homie's garage. My homie had another homie who just started tattooing and was like, yo, come through. And I was like, all right, bet, let's do it. That shit was so stupid. I tell you, when you're young, you make poor, poor decisions. It's cause you like experience. He fucked my shit off. One day my dad, I used to <laughs> walk around the house with a white beater on all the time. And then I got the tattoos and then I started walking around with like a shirt. One day I forgot I had my wife beater on. My dad was like, yo, who drew that on you? And I was like, oh shit. Some boys was playing at practice, they did that. And then another time I got, so I got all, I got over with that one. Then another time he saw it again. I was just like, oh yeah, I got a tattoo. And he was just like, oh, okay, well it's your body. I didn't expect him to respond that way. But the fact that he did gave me the courage to ask him to help me get it fixed the right way. He gave me some money, helped me find a better tattoo artist, and he went over there and retouched it up. You know, made my lines a lot straighter. But as you can see, this tattoo is like really thick. It's kind of like raised even off the skin. And that's because I had to go over it twice. So, you know, you mess with the right guy, you only have to do it once. Or girl, so let that be a lesson to y'all. You don't have to see it. Yeah, I'm really, and you niggas got a couple cool. I 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 got a couple cool. I
No problem. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. It's on the post. Good. Yeah. Let it be legible though. Okay. I'll make sure everyone can see it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm lit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Her boys now. All right, call me after five and a half long hours. Finally finished. Take a look. Now we about to head home and get Candace's reaction. Let's go. Yo, what's the deal, Comies? By the time I got home last night, Candace was knocked out, so it's been a full 24 hours. She still hasn't seen the tattoo, so I think it's about time we show her. Show me, somebody, show me. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. You sure? Yes. Good, cause. Show me. It's itching. I feel like it's dry. I don't have not one tattoo, you guys. I actually don't know what it feels like to get a tattoo, so. I feel like oh, you're gonna be in for I a can't treat. relate. Really? You're gonna be in for a treat. So what is it though? It's a portrait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Babe, what did you get on your freaking back? Show me. I'm so nervous. Let me see. That's super dope. Let me see. Come here. Come here. Come here. He said, <laughs> "Babe, oh my God, he's so good at this." <laughs> I don't know who this is though. Yeah, it's Fred Hampton. He's part of the Black Panther Party. Okay, that's dope. Civil rights leader. That's cool. Yeah, he's fire. He's lit. What else do you want to do in your back? There's a sign. There was a sign that's in this in this photo. I think I'm gonna replace it with another sign from a protest from from that time. Mm -hmm. And then there's gonna be three more signs that's gonna like go up behind them. But I'm gonna use some signs from the protest that went on now. Mm -hmm. You know? That's cool. Yeah. Still fighting. So I'm gonna put the old one, it's gonna be like behind him. The, that's dope. And then the other signs will be in front of him. Like so that what well, we were fighting in the past and this is what still what we're up against. Oh, that's, that's sick. Dope. You know? That's cool. Yeah, that's gonna be fire. Super dope, babe. I love the concept behind it. You like it? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Because it hurt a lot. Like, a lot. Who did this? Not Dino. Not <laughs> this is the college sleeve. This on my back is a league tat. I can tell the difference. Yeah, this is, hey man, shit, you'll do it for a hundred? All right, cool, bet, let's do it. That's crazy. For a hundred? Come on, shit, man, bet. I got like six other teammates you get tatted, but now I'll get tatted too, so come on. Imagine it right here. <laughs> I feel like I made that face last night. So, babe, next time you decide to get a tattoo, we should try letting each other know. You don't like the surprise? I love a good surprise, but we don't have to keep doing it and running it back. No? No, I think we should talk about these kinds of things. Like, it's fun, don't you think? Yeah, but you're not into tattoos. So yeah, but like... I like tattoos. I like how they look on you, so I'm into it. I just don't have any because... Well, what is, what is the conversation going to be about? It's like, so what, what do you think is cool? Like, how you just told me what, like, you want to put on your back that's a dope storyline i'm down for a good storyline yeah but i did it without asking i know that you yeah. i'm not saying to ask i'm saying so like, what if you're not what the, what if what the storyline isn't cool don't you want something cool on your body i'm just i'm just saying what if, what if it's not cool like to you oh no then oh then you do your thing it's your body but it's something forever and if i'm supposed to be forever too then just like it's not about the outside so then it's, why do it's it the inside that counts so that should just... that shouldn't even matter no mm -mm. it shouldn't matter so then why do it if it doesn't matter no i'm doing it because this is what i want to do what i'm saying is the way i look shouldn't matter oh yeah i mean you know? that's what i'm saying you can do whatever you want to do i'm just saying i'd like to be a part of the process because you're my best friend mm. bestie that's what i'm saying you're my bestie yeah if i was your best friend I want you around all the time. Do you want me around all the time? If I was your best friend, tell me, girl, you'll um, be mine. No, no, no. Damn. Shout out to 50 Cent, fam. <laughs> Yo, I'm listening to 50th Laws of Power. It's incredible. 
50 is a monster. It made me understand that 50 is like a really smart dude and the shit that we see on social media, it's calculated and he does it for a reason. Anyways, if I was your best friend, love it. Was your <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, <laughs> thank you guys so much for staying tuned. <sighs> what am I even talking about? This guy has to do the outro. It's his damn That's thing. That's right. Thank body. you guys for coming to get blasted with your boy. You see that? Ooh. You see that? One time. And That's cool, time. right? What? what? Next time what? And until next time. Before, until next time, you better hit that bell at the top right hand corner and get the notifications every time this video posts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe to The Colmar Show right now. And? <laughs> And until next time, we out. <laughs>